Hello, Ragers, and welcome back to another episode of Rage It. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Entitled Parents. Also, make sure you smash those like and subscribe buttons and check out the page for our other content. Let's get into it. My aunt, who I'll be referring to as Stupid Bully, is one of the worst people I've ever met. She doesn't just believe the world revolves around her. She basically believes that she is the world. She has this super toxic, my word is law attitude because she's the only religious person left in the family. From what I heard, the rest of the family would often cave into her endless whining and demands just to get her to shut up. That was until the newest generation came along, as in me, my two siblings, my twin cousins, who are both girls, and my one male cousin, who's the same age as me. Stupid Bully also had a daughter, but I don't recognize her as a family member because she's also a piece of crap. We were all born around the same time, that being 2000 to 2003. My guess is, the moment we came into the picture, the whole family went into defense mode and raised us to not make the same mistake they did with Stupid Bully and taught us differently, that being, don't take any crap from this crazy bully and her kid. Stupid Bully didn't like any of us from the start, solely because we weren't religious, or in her words, godly children. This is where the first encounter comes into play. My parents had cut contact with Stupid Bully a few months before I was born, because she wouldn't leave my mom alone. She kept hounding her over the importance of teaching your children about God and whatnot. So, when my parents revealed to Stupid Bully that they were atheist, and would be raising me to be agnostic, Stupid Bully had a meltdown over the news and demanded that my parents teach me about religion. They laughed in her face and then, of course, cut her off. A month before I was born, Stupid Bully's husband divorced her. He was a perfectly sane individual and just couldn't put up with Stupid Bully anymore. Everything he did had to revolve around making her happy. This sent Stupid Bully over the edge. The rest of the family had not yet cut her off, but they were distant regardless. With nobody to direct her anger at or boss around, she decided to lash out at my parents once again. I was three the day she pulled up in our driveway and started pounding on the door, demanding to see her nephew, me. She didn't get her wish, and my dad told Stupid Bully through the locked front door that he would call the police if she didn't leave. Stupid Bully went into a frenzy while her own daughter watched her from the car. I mean, this grown lady was jumping up and down, throwing herself against the door, all while scream crying. Stupid Bully ends up exhausting herself and stumbles back to her car while cursing my parents out. Apparently, she said she hopes that I die before I reach four. My own aunt wished death on me. My parents filed a restraining order, and that was the last they saw of Stupid Bully and her kid for seven years. While growing up during that time period, me and my siblings, who were two years younger than me, were always told that if a woman named Stupid Bully ever came to the house and they weren't home, we were not to answer her and call the police. Fast forward to 2010. At this point, I'm 10 years old, born in 2000, and both my siblings are eight years old. It was Christmas Eve, and the majority of my family was at my aunt and uncle's house. Not stupid bully, but the aunt on my mom's side, who I actually respect. My mom was one of four children, stupid bully being the youngest. Stupid bully was gonna be at the Christmas party this year, and my parents were very hesitant to take us because Stupid Bully's comments were still fresh in their mind. I had no idea who Stupid Bully or her daughter, who I'll just call entitled kid, were at the time. The moment my aunt laid eyes on me, she gave me this disgusting look that sent me running the other way. She did the same thing with my siblings. The whole party, all Stupid Bully did was talk about how amazing Entitled Kid was and got angry whenever someone tried to talk about something else. She had this awful, how dare you not pay attention to me attitude, 
still does today. Along with this, she would bitch and moan about my aunt and uncle not accommodating to entitled kids' desires. She single-handedly ruined the whole mood of the party and made everyone miserable. Entitled kid didn't bother me until later that night at dinner. Remember when I said that stupid bully was crazy religious? Well, she spread that same poison into her daughter's mind. I'm glad that stupid bully's husband is free from her, but at the same time, entitled kid has nobody around to teach her right from wrong. There was no grace at dinner, which stupid bully was furious about. So, who does stupid bully and entitled kid decide to take this out on? That's right, the kids. Right before I was about to eat, entitled kid asks, aren't you going to pray? Not knowing how to respond, I just shove mashed potatoes in my mouth. Entitled kid gasps like I just murdered someone. Stupid bully opens her mouth to say something, but instead just glares at me. She stared daggers at me and my siblings the whole darn dinner. She throws her whole plate out afterwards. And when my uncle asks her why, she says, I think I lost my appetite in this really accusatory tone. After dinner, me and my siblings went to play on the Wii with our cousins upstairs. Stupid bully and entitled kid watch us from afar. And being an oblivious kid, I think nothing of it. I see stupid bully whisper something to entitled kid, and she gets this big grin on her face. I keep playing until I feel entitled kid shove me from behind. I fall over, and entitled kid goes into a long tirade of name-calling and other hurtful stuff, calling me fat and stupid, and telling me my mom must have done a crappy job raising me if I turned out like this. I look to stupid bully for help, and she's recording while laughing. I couldn't believe my eyes. My own aunt, who up until now I thought of as family, was laughing as her daughty bullied me and my siblings. Entitled Kid was four years older than me, so there really wasn't much I could do. However, my mom wasn't having it. She heard what Entitled Kid was saying and stormed upstairs. My mom flings open the door, sees my aunt recording the whole thing, and screams, What are you doing? Side note, Stupid Bully is terrified of my mom. She's a foot shorter and not athletic at all. I guess Stupid Bully was intoxicated, and her normal fear of my mom didn't really apply in this situation. Because when my mom asked Stupid Bully if she was going to punish Entitled Kid for picking on us, Stupid Bully smirked and said, why would I punish my daughter for telling the truth? With that, my mom gripped Stupid Bully by the hair and dragged her downstairs. I heard a loud crash and then sobbing from Stupid Bully. Her, an entitled kid, left immediately. I heard from my older cousin years later that my mom had dragged Stupid Bully into the kitchen and smashed her mouth down on the counter, knocking four of her teeth out. A lot of you might consider this an extreme overreaction, and maybe it was. But to be honest, I'm very glad my mom did that. She defended her children, and entitled kid never tried that again for years after witnessing what happened to her mom. After this incident, stupid bully despised me, my siblings, and my three cousins, and made it her personal mission to come after us at any family gathering. From this incident to 2015, I only ever had small run-ins with Stupid Bully and her daughter, almost always at family events. Entitled Kid learned quickly that I wouldn't just sit back and let her pick on me after I punched her in the face at a summer party for calling one of my cousins retarded. Another incident occurred when my aunt followed my sister around and called her a slut for wearing a normal tank top. My sister said, I might be a slut, but at least I'm not a stuck-up cunt like you. Stupid bully ran to my dad and complained about my sister's behavior, screaming about how she wasn't ladylike. My dad laughed and told her to cry about it to someone who cared. During this time period, my aunt was basically losing her mind. Before me and my siblings came along, 
She got whatever she wanted, and everyone listened to her. But now that there's a bunch of rowdy teens in the family, she's finding that her previously unchallenged entitlement means absolutely nothing, and she hates us for it. There were a bunch of small incidents that occurred between 2013 to 2015. The big one happened in January of 2015, when a big family reunion was hosted at our house, including Stupid Bully and Entitled Kid. My parents only invited them because they assumed my aunt and her demon daughter had learned from past mistakes that we were not to be taken lightly and wouldn't hesitate to retaliate against their behavior. We thought wrong. Stupid bully and entitled kid arrived very early. I greeted them at the door and they didn't even acknowledge me. This didn't surprise me though, because they've done this before. At this point, I was 15 and my siblings were 13, making entitled kid 19. She still hadn't moved out and her mother completely coddled her. She was spoiled and got everything she wanted. My parents made it very clear that neither of them were allowed in our rooms. Stupid Bully scoffs at this and says the rule is stupid. My parents don't care and tell Stupid Bully that if she has a problem, she can leave. The rest of the family arrives and Stupid Bully spends the whole time pouting in the corner. Me and my brother notice that Entitled Kid is gone and start to panic. That's when our sister whispers to us that she saw Entitled Kid sneak upstairs. We go up, and lo and behold, Entitled Kid is in my brother's room trying to steal his computer. She's unplugging the wires and tugs it free from the wall. We stay quiet and plan to jump on her when she's walking out until we hear, Did you get that stupid computer yet? from down the hall. This was planned. The only reason they even came to the reunion was so they could steal stuff from us. My brother loses his cool and starts screaming at Entitled Kid to put it back and get out. Stupid Bully waffles over and screams right back at us, saying they deserve the computer and said, It's the least you can do for being godless children. My sister starts shouting for my parents and receives a hard slap from Stupid Bully. All hell breaks loose. I kick Stupid Bully hard in the gut. She screams and rams into me, knocking me to the floor. My mom, my dad, and two of my eldest cousins, who are both huge guys, come barreling up the stairs and tackle Stupid Bully, who was on top of me. My mom starts beating Stupid Bully right on the carpet, while my dad and cousins restrain Entitled Kid and have to pry the computer console out of her hands. My mom stops wailing on Stupid Bully, who now has a black eye and bloody nose. She gets up and starts shrieking about how she's going to sue. My mom tells her to go ahead and try, and also that if she ever comes back, my mom will kill her. Stupid Bully flees the house while dragging her 19-year-old daughter who's in the middle of a tantrum. Night goes on as usual after that. That about wraps it up. I haven't seen Stupid Bully and Entitled Kid in four years, and hopefully I never have to see them again. If I do have another run-in with them, I hope it ends with me slamming the front door in Stupid Bully's face while she's begging for money. It really sucks when it's your own family that are such terrible people. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. And also check out the channel for all of our other awesome content. We put out new videos daily. See you guys tomorrow.